Hey everybody, it's Curtis. I'm back in the Kurt Locker with another review for you. And today I am looking at the 1211 or the XII XI Roller and Duffalo Block Jacobs. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Curtis. My channel focuses on garage gym and home gym equipment as well as training content. Just full disclosure, there are some affiliate links in the description box down below. By clicking on those affiliate links, I get a very small percentage of the sale. It doesn't affect your sale at all, and it helps me fund this channel so I can continue to create content. As stated previously, today I am looking at the 1211 Roller J-Cups as well as the Duffalo Block J-Cups. I'm gonna be looking at the design, the construction quality. I'm gonna be giving you guys my training notes. We'll talk about the price tag, and then I'll give you guys my final conclusions at the end. End. Just as a note, there are going to be timestamps below, so if you highlight down on the bar, if you want to get to a certain point in the video, the chapters will be labeled. Due to the popularity of powerlifting in the home gym and garage gym world, we've seen that roller J cups have made a very big entrance into the home gym scene. The reason is because you can have a roller style cup, which is similar to what you would find on a traditional combo rack, and what it does is it takes that and it places it on a normal in this case, three by three upright. We'll get into that a little bit later. Now, these ones are really nicely designed. So the actual cup between the roller and the duffalo block is basically the exact same thing. Actually, it is the exact same thing. And they measure eight inches tall. That's from the top to the very bottom here. Six and a half inches wide. Each cup weighs about six and a half pounds. There is a slight difference between the duffalo blocks and the roller cups, but it's very minute. One of the things that I really appreciate is that there's UHMW on every single surface that comes into contact with either a barbell or a rack. Now, if you note down here, I do have an earlier version where there's no UHMW plastic here where the barbell would enter into the cup. And this is the newer and improved version where there's a piece of plastic right here. So basically what you have is where the upright would touch, you have plastic on all three sides. The only thing that's metal that contacts your rack is the actual one inch pin. And then on the barbell side, there's the plastic here that wraps over on the top. The UHMW cup, of course, the uh, actual roller portion or the block portion, and then the vertical portion where the barbell would hit before it comes down into the J cup. That's a really good design note though, because there's basically no way beyond some sort of freak accident that your barbell would come into contact with any sort of steel, and that extends the life of the knurl on your bar. Some other stuff of note is that it comes in either black or red as their standard colorways, and additionally, it has this nice notch system cut in, uh, which adds a little bit of class and it changes up the design. Now, some other options that are available is you can get a one inch pin, but you can also get a five eighths inch pin. So if you are someone that has like a Rep PR 4000 or maybe a Rogue Monster light rack, you can still get these roller style cups or duffalo block style cups for your rack. Additionally, you can get a return style roller, which is what I have here, and that's the hourglass shape. You can also get a flat roller if you don't want it to return to a standard position, or like I have here, you can get the duffalo block, which is specifically for buffalo style bars. There are also metric shim adapters and two by three rack adapters, which means that these J cups have been strategic strategically designed to basically fit on almost any power rack that's out there with an exception for two by two racks. That covers it for the actual design of the J-Cups themselves. What I wanna talk about now is the actual construction quality and I can tell you that these don't leave anything as far as something to be desired. All the welds are super well done and what I mean by that is they're basically not visible. So all the welds are done in such a way to where it doesn't even look like there's welding. So you can't even look for the stack dimes because they've hidden them so well. Additionally, all the pieces are cut and you can tell there's a lot of attention to detail during that, that cutting and that bending process because there's no burrs. The cups are consistent throughout production. Another unique feature that also states to maybe the attention to detail and the quality is that all of the UHM W has this kind of fleck pattern and they also put in the 1211 fitness logo and it's kind of etched I don't know how else to describe it as other than it's it's kind of a raised etch into the UHMW itself it actually adds a really nice touch and as far as branding is concerned it's very good placement you'll definitely know that it's a 1211 cup just based on the shape as well as the 1211 branding right there on the UHMW 
I've also not seen any other companies use this kind of fleck pattern UHMW, which just kind of adds a little bit of personality to the mix. One of the other really cool things about the rollers is that they go very nicely. They basically, I've abused the living heck out of these things trying to destroy them, but the actual roller itself continues to roll really nicely. And if you don't want it to be able to roll that nicely, you can actually tighten this Allen bolt at the front end and it will tighten this down just a little bit and make it not spin as much. On the other end of that spectrum, if you want it to slide back and forth easier, if you loosen it just a little bit, it liberates that roller to really be able to pick up some speed. The actual finish, so whether it's black or red, they both look really good. They're very well done. It's consistent finishing. There's no blemishes. There's no issues that I've seen at all. And I have gone over these things with a fine tooth comb. So as far as fit and finish goes, very well done. Additionally, outside of where the pin actually contacts the upright, there is zero signs of wear. And that is basically because of the design where there's UHMW everywhere that this thing touches the rack with an exception for the pin. One more additional note on design is that just recently the Rogue CB4, which is a 38 millimeter bar or right about a one and a half inch bar just released. And some of the other companies that produce these Duffalo style blocks were designed to fit the 32 millimeter Kabuki Duffalo bar. This, however, will fit both of them, and I did test it. I measured out my FUBAR from MB Power Center, and I set it in the cup, and although it doesn't have the bend, it does have the diameter of the CB4, and I can tell you that if you are looking for a cup that doesn't need to be modified, this one will do really, really well holding the Rogue CB4, holding the Kabuki Duffalo bar, and I also had a Titan Yukon bar in this just to make sure that it fit, and of course, with the design of it being more open, it fits just fine. Now, when it comes comes to either the roller or the Duffalo style. I didn't buy the centered roller or the uniform diameter. I just have the return. But when I took these things apart, these things are solid UHMW plastic on both of them. So I realistically don't think you will ever need to replace the actual Duffalo bar block. Um, and if you ever do need to replace the roller, it'll be after a long time of use just because of how much material there actually is right there. So overall construction quality, I gotta give this thing a lot of props. For a J-Cup, it is obvious that they put a lot of intent into the J-Cup and it's very well thought out, it's very well made, and that just shines through when I'm doing a quality comparison of these things to other J-Cups that I've seen. The next thing I wanna talk about is price and that is one of the best parts about this J-Cup. So if you have a five ace inch rack, the standard J cup without roller or duffalo block. So basically just the frame is going to run you $250 for $5 extra. You can get the one inch hardware, which really isn't that much of an upcharge, but I do recognize that there probably needs to be a different because the material costs different amounts of money. After you add that $250 or $255, regardless of color cup to your cart, you then get to select which types of rollers or duffalo blocks or flat rollers that you want to add. Both of the rollers are the same price, right at about $35, and the duffalo block is $100. It should be noted though that the duffalo block is a substantial amount of material, and it also is probably a little bit more difficult to make. If you require the shim kits or the 2x3 rack conversion, those run between eight and ten dollars and you can add those to your card as well. Now something unique about these J cups is that they are made in USA but the shipping is free. Additionally if you're active duty military or a first responder or a police officer or any of those other public service type jobs you can get a military discount which brings the price down just a little bit. I'll leave you with my final opinions and it is basically are you looking for an American made either roller style or duffalo block style J-Cup. Because if you are, these are really good option to look at. But as far as quality goes and price goes and the actual look, the fit, finish, and the function, I really can't give this thing high enough remarks. So if these things interest you, go ahead and click the link down in the description box below and check them out. Maybe there's something that's going to enhance your training. I can tell you that these are my daily drivers as far as J-Cups go. And of course, I use these every single time that I use my duffalo bar. But that's been it for this review. And remember, when it comes to your garage gym and then of course the J cups that go in your garage gym you should always make them better awesome and of course badass I'll see you guys next time